Hi everyone, English Era here, and I hope your day is going swimmingly. In this video, let's talk about some advanced English vocabulary to talk about someone's personality. I'm gonna share with you some nouns that we can use to describe a person. Nouns can be used to describe a person, yes! We can, not just adjectives. And these advanced English vocabulary that we're going to learn are all nouns to describe a personality trait, behavior, or a quality that a person has. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. So let's talk about money. What are people's attitude towards money? So if the person loves spending money to the point that they waste it or they spend more than necessary, then that person is a spendthrift. She's a real spendthrift and doesn't know how to budget money. However, if you hate spending money at all, then you're a cheapskate. But her grandpa seems to be a cheapskate. Now let's talk about success. What are people's attitude towards success? So if a person is energetic and determined to succeed, that person has goal and has motivation, determination to achieve that goal, then that person is a go-getter. Her company promoted her for being a go-getter because she always targets the sales. But if a person is lazy and without any ambitions, dreams, or goals, that person is a lazy bones. She reminded her sister not to be a lazy bones if she wants to get promoted too. Now let's talk about people's attitude towards taking risks. If you like doing dangerous things and taking risks, then you're a daredevil. He always wants to try extreme sports. He's really a daredevil. But if you're not brave and you're trying to avoid danger, pain, embarrassment, then you're a coward. They don't want to be called a coward, so they try to ride on the roller coaster. This time, let's talk about a person's behavior in conversation. If you're a person who listens to private conversation without the other people knowing it, then you're an eavesdropper. Although she heard the conversation, she just chose not to be an eavesdropper. And if you're a person who loves talking to the point that you tell someone's secret, then you're a blabber mouth. This word is informal. She promised not to tell anyone that her co-worker is pregnant, but she did. She's really a blabbermouth. But if you just love talking like you're really talkative, then you're a chatterbox. Chatterbox is another term for talkative. His wife is a chatterbox and can't control herself talking. Now let's talk about a person's attitude towards problems. If you're a person who worries too much about things that are not really important, not necessary, then you are a worry wart. You don't have to be a worry wart if you think your problem can be solved overnight. And if you cry or complain a lot for no good reason, then you're a cry baby. <laughs> she wasn't able to pay the rent and now she's acting like a cry baby because of it. But if you're a positive thinker, you're very optimistic, then you're a Pollyanna. She's trying to be a Pollyanna and not care about negative people in her life. There you go! These are some advanced English vocabulary to help you describe a person's behavior, quality, or personality traits. Now, which of these words best describe you? Let us know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit thumbs up, 
share this video with your friends who want to learn and improve their English and please subscribe to our growing YouTube channel for more English lessons and tips and I hope to see you soon on my next video.